What's up everyone, welcome to another quick overview of Pokemon in the Unite Test Server and we're going to be taking a look at Phalanx, the next melee all-rounder attacker coming to Aeos Island. Now quiet is kept, anybody that was a fan of my ADS Play 101 account when I used to do Pokemon Unite live streams, I actually talked about this Pokemon being in the game and they actually made him in a way that I actually described so I'm glad to see him in there personally. So. His basic attacks, um, after he uses, for every third attack, or after he uses Tackle, Mega Horn, or Iron Head, boosted attacks also apply a slowing effect to the Pokemon that, they're hit, that they hit. So when a boosted attack hits, the cooldown on Tackle, Mega Horn, or Iron Head is reduced. So his passive battle armor, when the Pokemon takes critical hit damage, a set percentage of the damage is reduced. Phalanx is a group compromise of the Brass or the, the Leader and five troopers and they utilize three formations, Column Formation, No Retreat Formation, and Dispatch Formation. When a move is used in No Retreat or Dispatch Formation, the effect of the move changes. This Pokemon can hold a little more Aeos energy than others. So his first two moves are Tackle and Bulk Up. With Tackle, he just charges in a direction, hits the target, and his next attack becomes a boosted attack. With Bulk Up, his attack speed, attack, and defense increases for a short time. Now, as stated before, Phalanx has three formations. His default is the column formation, which you see that he's in right now. And his first two moves are Mega Horn and No Retreat, which is the No Retreat formation. Now, with Mega Horn, he dashes in a direction, and knocks up the knocks up the target and hits him again with a boosted attack with Mega Horn. So when the No Retreat formation is activated, they all form a wall around him. The Fire Troopers form a wall around the Brass and they basically attack in a direction. And any attacks that's coming from where the Phalanx are facing uh, reduces the damage. So they get increased defense based on where they're facing. Now also stated Mega Horn properties changes. Uh, Mega Horn changes with the formation that he takes. So right now he's in a no retreat formation and Mega Horn he just does, does a charge up hit in that direction that he's in. Now just like with Mega Horn the properties of Iron Head change depending on which formation he is and we're going to start off with the dispatch formation which is beat him up is beat up so Iron Head by default he jumps to a direction and just slams and applies a slowing effect when you activate beat up it keeps two stocks and when you use one it sends two of the troopers out in a direction and they basically jump the target that is uh <laughs> that you hit now that is what's considered the dispatch formation so while the dispatch formation is activated and you use iron head it applies a little shield now the dispatch formation with mega horn basically gathers all the he gathers all of them around and they use Mega Horn in that in that circle as you've seen now Iron Head with no retreat it shortens the distance you can jump but it widens the, the range and they get a little shield applied to them and then the next four basic attacks can be used while they're moving Now when upgraded, Mega Horn strengthens the effect of the shield granted by the move. And the upgraded No Retreat further increases the attack and further reduces the damage to the Phalanx Troopers in the front. So the upgrade to Iron Head increases the damage based on the target's max HP. And beat up upgrade restores health. So 
Swish Unite move is called Dust Devil Formation. The five troopers surround the brass running at a high speed, applying a slow effect to any opposing Pokemon that they hit. And the, the troopers can, even though they can still be hit, they take reduced damage. One thing to mention though, Phalanx is an expert level uh, all-rounder. He has three star offense and three star, for, three star endurance, which means that he's going to take a bit of effort. He's gonna need some health, he's gonna need some defense to really be utilized effectively, um, as well as some damage boosters, such as attack weight and, uh, and muscle band, and maybe even razor claw might be a good choice. Um, I just picked these items just for the test service, so I don't take this as an actual, you know, representation of what I would use in the main game. Ladies and gentlemen, that was my quick overview of Phalanx coming soon to Pokemon Unite. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember, these are only test server versions, and the main versions that get uploaded into the main game may be different. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Peace, and see you guys on Aos Island.